welcome back to my channel so today I have a video that I've been wanting to do because I have a lot of beauty products that I feel are not really hyped up about and talked about a lot on Instagram and YouTube and I wanted to let you guys know that some of the stuff is really really good and it's products that when people ask me like oh what do you use they kind of take a double take at me and they're like wait what you use that so this video is actually all of the beauty products that I feel are underrated these are my opinions and things that I really like and I think they work for me. You may have heard of them or you may not have heard of them or you may feel like people have actually talked about it but for me and my surroundings and my friends, these are products that no one really talks about or hears about a lot and I love them. Today's video is all about beauty products I think are underrated and things that we should be using. So I am super excited to do this video. If you guys like videos like this, make sure to thumbs up the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the subscribe button below and also make sure to click on the little bell so you receive a notification every time I upload a video. I'm so excited to show you guys all these items because I kind of have a lot. I was just going to show you guys a little bit because I actually have never done a video like this. So I was just going to show you guys a little bit but I actually have quite a few items that I want to show you guys. So let's get right into the video. The first two items I want to show you guys is from KC Republic. You can actually get it on Amazon and I'll link everything below that I talk about. But you guys probably have never heard of this brand. It says lashesandcosmetics.com so you can get it on there as well. And it's an eyeliner and mascara. And when I first got this, I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? Like it probably does not work well or whatever. And I always test eyeliners on my hands. And when I dry and if it dries matte and it doesn't bleed, that means I know that it's going to work well and whenever I draw it on my hand and it shows up sheer I toss it I don't even use it because I don't like it I like my eyeliners to be very very black and very very matte so this is one of those eyeliners that dries super fast very very dark and very very matte and amazing I'm actually wearing it on my eyes now and I've been wearing this almost every single day literally look at that and the point okay I just did it backwards so it's just like hard you already know I just drew a bunch of lines right there, but it's so amazing and it's like a felt tip pointy tip and it's amazing. It's so great and even like, you know, just seriously just like having it on my hand right now, it just didn't smear. Like that was so fast. It dries super fast. It's so amazing. You can get it on the link below. I mean, it's just a brand that nobody ever talks about a lot. It's not hyped up about, and I think it's so underrated. I think it's so amazing, and with the mascara, it's only $16.50. I think it's that's so cheap. They're like $20 around there just with the eyeliner, and I love, love, love this eyeliner, so I wanted to talk about it and show you guys. And the mascara is super amazing as well. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you guys know I always wear false lashes, and you can put mascara on the fa false lashes. Most of the time, I focus only on my bottom lashes and it's really really hard for me to find a mascara that is not clumpy on my under eyes or my bottom lashes because I have really really small lashes and it's really hard to capture my lashes. I actually need a brush that's kind of separated like this and I find that these separated brushes work best for my under lashes and to capture each lash. I don't like the brushes that are too fat or like the brushes that are very very fluffy and um, has a lot of bristles because I feel like it doesn't capture my bottom lashes. I do find this eyelash extension mascara to be super amazing and it is a dual pair and I love it so much. You can get it on Amazon. Seriously so amazing. I found it and I love it. All the everyday brands that everybody uses you hear about it all the time and you're like okay is it even good or not and then sometimes because it's a familiar brand you buy it so it's really hard to I feel like start buying new brands so I test it out for you guys and let you guys know what I like so I just wanted to introduce you guys to this brand it's so amazing I love it so much the next thing I want to talk about is this bronzer from note cosmetics and the funny thing is as you guys can see I have my makeup organized behind me and I've been going through these makeup cleansing phases or these moments where I get all my makeup give it away to my friends and family because I do sometimes swatch it at you and use it and donating the new stuff I have been testing out some of the products that I kind of abandoned I didn't even use because I do get a lot of products to review and this was one of them so I found this in my bronzer drawer this is the note cosmetics caramel cake terracotta powder and wow this bronzer is beautiful so first of all when you open it 
it's literally the prettiest thing ever and you're like oh my gosh this baked bronzer looks phenomenal and when it goes on it's just so stunning and when I saw this bronzer I was like wow why didn't I use this immediately when I got it sometimes like you don't use it because you don't reach for it because it's not something you hear about or you've heard from other people that it's good but this is amazing the next product I want to talk about is by elf cosmetics so I actually feel like the overall brand of elf cosmetics is kind of underrated do not let that low price fool you because this stuff is amazing their liquid liner is phenomenal their highlighter this is like the highlight champagne glow like targeted natural glow stick i use it as a highlighter it's so soft so creamy the texture is so amazing all of their stuff is so like soft and pretty and great like their eyeliner is so amazing their pencil eyeliner is amazing their liquid liner is amazing their blush is amazing eyeshadows and this glow stick is so easy to use i actually used it today i like oh my god i'm doing this without a mirror just like the camera it's like a gorgeous little sticks and everything is super inexpensive if you are balling on a budget even if you had a lot of money to spend on makeup elf is such a great brand that has a lot of amazing products so I do love elf as well love 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 this targeted glow stick I've been using this on the go it's so easy to use and you can literally use it on all your highlight parts um, and like under eyebrows it's just an easy product and creamy and such great quality for a low price the next product I want to talk about actually this may not be in the underrated category because I do feel that it has a lot of hype this is the LA girl pro conceal in orange corrector I know I probably talk about this and use this in like every single one of my videos but LA girl is another brand that they do people a lot of people do use it on Instagram and on YouTube because it is a pretty well-known brand that has been around for a really long time but the quality of the product is really really good like all their stuff is really good concealers their bronzers this is just an amazing product it's two dollars it's so great if you have not seen me use it you probably haven't seen any of my videos because I use it in like every single one it's such an amazing amazing corrector the next product I want to talk to you guys about is NYX lingerie liquid lips so I have a lot of NYX products I feel like a lot of people have a lot of NYX products because NYX is such a common makeup company that a lot of people have in in their kit or in their makeup and their everyday makeup but I feel like since they make so many products NYX comes out with so many new things all the time like they are always creating new products and creating new trends and things like that but this lingerie line has to be my perfect liquid lips collection so there are so many nude liquid lips out there and it's really hard to find a perfect nude for your skin tone so well for me I feel like um I am on the tan like yellowy side and I feel like a little bit cool tone looks weird on me and things like that but I feel like the NYX lingerie nude collection has been like the perfect collection almost all of them look really good and they have every shade and it's just a great 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 nude liquid lips collection and if you guys don't have it try to find it because it's so great and they're inexpensive as well and once you have the liquid lip on it doesn't transfer so I feel like sometimes when you have a liquid lip on a lot of times for me like if I eat something I'll have it here or it'll bleed somewhere or it'll be on my shirt or something like that and these don't and they're just perfect so I do love these a lot the next item I want to talk about is not a makeup product it's actually a dry shampoo and I have gone through so many different dry shampoos um, currently I'm actually using a new product I'm testing out but this is actually by Tarte like can you believe it Tarte makes dry shampoo and it's called hair goals when a dry shampoo makes it into my daily routine is if it doesn't make your hair white and if it doesn't make your hair super dry and sticky because some of those do that and this is just a perfect dry shampoo it's amazing you would think that a makeup company maybe that focuses and does so great on makeup like you would think that maybe like their hair products would be kind of like I don't even know maybe mediocre but it's not it's phenomenal it's great I love it I love love this uh, 
uh, hair goals dry shampoo I love 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 this hair goals dry shampoo it's amazing and it's so great and it's perfect for traveling as well because it's not too big and not too small the next item I want to talk about is this it cosmetics brow power I know my lids there there's actually supposed to be two lids one on the top one on the bottom but I have them over there like I don't even know like lost in my abyss of makeup but this is in my everyday makeup box which is why it's probably missing a lid and it cosmetics only has one universal brow pencil and it is this brow power and what's so amazing I actually learned about this I have like so many swatches the amount of pressure you put on this brow pencil you can adjust the color of the brow color so if you do it light it's like blonde and if you do it dark it's like brown and if you do it like super dark it's like darkest brown isn't that crazy literally from one pencil it's like so many different col colors and it, it depends on the amount of pressure you put on the pencil that the color actually can be adjusted and I thought that was so cool I actually use this brow pencil to do my brows like every single day I have it on my brows right now it's such a good brow pencil to just have and to do your brows if you want to have it light or dark it's such a great brow pencil to have I love it so much I actually just learned about this technique from the it cosmetics trip I went on last month in New York and it's so great like it's seriously so amazing so I have not stopped using it and I feel like it cosmetics is one of those brands again it's not that hyped about and like talked about too much online so I do love this it cosmetics brow power pencil the next item I want to talk about is the Kevin Aquan concealers and I actually have had this for about a month and Kevin Aquan is like super well known I mean he was on sex in the city he's a famous 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 makeup artist that did amazing things I, I mean I love him and this is actually the new concealer and like literally wait this is the corrector yeah I've used almost all of it like who does that so this is the Kevin Aquan super natural concealer one of them is a corrector and one of them is medium 03 that's the color that I use daily and I have actually the whole range of the concealers and Kevin Aquan overall the entire brand even though it is super well known and even though it is you know at Barney's and so many people use it I feel like it's one of those brands that people don't hype up about that much like I love it I use it every day to me it's famous but I feel like it's one of those things that's underrated and not a lot of people talk about it online and maybe because it is on the higher end um, price point but the stuff is so good every single product that I use from their brand is so good um, I really love their essential skin concealer which is like a thicker concealer super full coverage this one is a little bit lighter but it still has that super full coverage effect but it doesn't feel thick the other one does feel a little bit thick but I like that feeling I'm actually gonna use this in my next tutorial but I live for them and they're so amazing and I just wanted to show you guys because these concealers are amazing if you guys don't have a favorite concealer I do highly recommend picking up some Kevin Aquan concealers the central skin is for super thick very full coverage looks and the super natural is full coverage as well but not as thick as the central skin I have heard their foundation is amazing I don't have any but um, I have used their highlighters and bronzers and eyeshadows and stuff like that the next product I want to talk about is a Tatcha eye cream and I know Tatcha is a little bit on the higher end so uh, like the price point so you can't just like go and buy it but do recommend this eye cream this is the ageless revitalizing eye cream like obviously I don't know if you guys can see but I used almost all of it and it's like the perfect thick eye cream that you put under your eye and it has this like thick creamy texture and it kind of reflects like if you have dark circles or anything like that or puffiness it kind of reflects the attention off of it because I feel like when the light hits it since it's like a thick cream it kind of reflects like like a flaw like away from your eyes I really love it I think it works really well this is the eye cream that has been working for me that has been amazing have used like one from origins that i really liked as well but i do like this eye cream the best so far i've been using this for the past i don't even know a few months and it's really great i know it's on the more expensive side but if you guys are looking for a really good eye cream i do recommend the tatcha ageless revitalizing eye cream i feel like tatcha is another brand that is known in the makeup world and a lot of people use it but again, it's kind of like underrated. Not a lot of people hype up about it and talk about it. I feel like people more focus on like La Mer and the La Paris and all of those kind of brands. But I feel like 
but Tatcha really is so great and I do love them so much um, not just because they're Japanese but because the product really 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 is great and works well on me and I love it so next item I want to talk about this glue this is the DUP eyelashes glue super hard eyelash glue it's a Japanese eyelash glue I get it at the Japanese store you can get it on Amazon you can get it online but it is the best eyelash glue ever in the world I have used every single eyelash glue that you can can think of or you can name and this is by far my favorite eyelash glue ever it is like $14 I feel like maybe it's a little bit more expensive than an, uh, another eyelash glue but it's so amazing your eyelashes will stick and literally even if it rains your eyelashes stay on it it's it's rubbery so when you do take off your lash you can just peel it off. The next product I want to talk about is a Sigma blush. I actually like all of these. This is the In The Saddle Aura Powder. I also really like the Cor de Rosa Aura Powder as well. And it's their like matte blushes. And Sigma is known for their brushes actually. And I feel like not a lot of people talk about their makeup. Um, their eyeshadows are really amazing as well. My favorite has to be their bronzers and blushes or they're more like uh, blushes and they're just a beautiful texture and a beautiful look it's just an amazing look I don't know how to explain it it just has beautiful texture and just goes on smoothly it just has the perfect pigmentation amount and I just love it I ha I've had these for a while and I know when a makeup product is really good because I keep going back for it and whenever I pack stuff um, really fast and I have to go I always reach for these blushes so I really really love the Sigma Aura powder and last but not least Airborean so I actually didn't hear about Airborean like at all until I saw some of my friends talk about it online and I am a huge fan of Japanese beauty, Japanese makeup, and Japanese skincare because I grew up in a Japanese household. I'm Japanese American and I knew a lot about Japanese skincare and stuff like that and Japanese makeup because my grandma um, in Japan when I would go every year would teach me about that kind of stuff. I didn't really know much about Korean skincare. Well, I did buy a lot of Korean beauty products as a kid actually like really like I was like a teenager maybe even like 13 12 or 13 I was buying eyelashes at the Korean store but I didn't know about Korean skincare and Korean makeup too much until um, I started using it a lot um, I actually started using Herborean this is a BB cream it is not like a full thick coverage crazy uh, foundation but it's an amazing BB cream and actually just creates this flawless skin canvas and if you're just running out and you just want to have like a no makeup makeup look that's kind of a clean fresh look this is phenomenal and amazing but sometimes I do like that fresh little like oh I just woke up like this kind of vibe the color that I actually wear is Dore there's three different colors and it kind of just meshes with your tone like your skin tone you don't need a lot and it just creates this flawless face and I love it so much I want to do a career or Asian makeup video if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments below that's actually everything in this underrated beauty products video like I feel like these products everyone needs to know about but not everyone talks about it all the time I feel like I talk about it all the time but I just wanted to create like this list of products that I feel that aren't really known online and there's so many products that are so hyped up online and not all of them are like spectacular and these are items that I love that I use that I feel need more recognition. I wanted to make this video. If you guys like videos like this, make sure to thumbs up the video and let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about everything. And before you guys go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Mwah. Hey guys, I'm actually heading to the OC right now and I'm spending an entire week with two